After logging into your new Ubuntu 12.04 desktop, you have to open your mind to a new way of navigating. We better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. The new Ubuntu desktop features three features that work together for navigation. The menu system on the left, the dash, which is actually part of the menu system, access that by clicking on that dash icon in the menu, we can press escape to exit, or we can press the super button, which is the button that has the little Windows logo on it, and that will also allow us to access the dash. The other portion of our navigation system is the HUD, which we enter by simply pressing the ALT key one time. And we can enter the HUD from different screens and applications. One classic example of how the HUD heads up system works for us when you're in an application. I could mouse up to the top panel and then click File or Edit or any of these features, or when the application has focus, I could just hit the Alt key to open up the HUD. Notice that the icon shows the GIMP. I could type File, and there's my File menu options. File Quit, File Save, File Open, File Print, or I could go Across the menu, E, D, type E, there's my edit menu. I want to see my tools. There's my tool menu items that come right up there. I can type what I want to do in the application. So the beauty of HUD is it's anticipatory interface. We have the dash home which brings us to this menu and we can use the search features to look for the application we want. If we simply start typing, for instance if we type office, we are now presented with all the office applications. With the dash home, you click that button, you get to dash and you get to the home portion of the dash we are searching across everything. Applications, files, video, audio. But at the bottom of that we have filters. If I click this button down here, notice that now I'm only searching applications. So I type an application name in. Terminal. It doesn't seem to mind case, which is kind of nice. Or GIMP, okay. I'm always searching applications. If I click the document down here, I'm now I'm searching files and folders. If I click this little music icon, I'm specifically searching for music. And this icon specifically searches for video. Now, we have other filter results here. Not in home, but in here, in the applications, for example, I can click this filter results and look. It's almost like the old menu system that we were familiar with. If I click Office, it should be showing me. Let's see two more results here. There's the extra. There's all my Office applications. If I click Games, there's my games. Okay. If I click the Internet. There's my internet application, and it shows us still, even though we're searching, recently used, installed. And it suggests some apps that are available for download. If we select the file and folder tab, we have different filter results. Last modified, we can select last seven days, last 30 days, last year, the type of 
of uh, file we're looking for and the size. In the music, we can search by decade and genre. In the videos, we can search by my videos, Amazon, uh, Voodoo, YouTube shows. There's a lot of different choices here of different videos we can search in these different areas for videos. Some are obviously online. So our Dash Home has some pretty sophisticated search and filter results capabilities.